Welcome back to the Weber Kettle Series brought to you by Fogo Charcoal here on Chud's Barbecue, everybody. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today we're making up some super simple, super tasty barbecue chicken. Coming up! This is some chicken. Pat them dry. And I don't know about y'all, but there's something about summer grill season that just screams chicken leg quarters. I mean, it's the best part of the chicken. And no matter what you do, you really can't screw these up. You can cook them direct, you can grill them, you can smoke them, you can fry them. You can go crispy skin or you can sauce them up. And pretty much any rub you throw at these is gonna be great. I mean, as long as you hit this with some salt and cook it up to like 180 degrees, you're in for a treat. Not to mention, this is by far the cheapest thing to cook on your Weber kettle. This entire pile of meat right here was $4. Can't beat that. And also there is zero trimming or butchery required at all. All we need to do is hit these with some rub. For our rub today, we're going on with some good old fashioned chud rub. As I said, any rub you got will work great. This one's nice because it's got some good paprika in there. So we're gonna get some really nice color on these. What I like to do is flip these over, starting on the back to improve our presentation side a little bit. And then hit these with a little bit of spray oil. A little sprayable duck fat never hurt anybody. And then, simply enough, a nice even coat. Folks, you know the drill. We're making chicken here. Nothing too fancy. It's the nice part about pre-made rubs is uh, the salt content is usually pretty tame. So you can go on with a nice heavy coating without having to worry about over-salting anything. Oh, looking so good already. Grilling chicken. Tell you what, great way to feed a crowd. Great for a weeknight dinner as well. Beep, 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 beep. All sides, folks, you know the drill. Looking good to me. Let's fire up the pit. Damn it. Very convenient. I've got the slow and sear here filled up with some Fogo premium charcoal. That's the black bag stuff. And especially when cooking chicken like this, it's really nice to have two zone cooking. That way you've got a safe zone in case anything flares up or gets too hot. But yeah, I'm just lighting this up. I want to get this grill nice and toasty. Nice hot fire and on the pit we go. Nothing to it, folks. I'm going indirect today. Nice hot heat. That way we can let the rub really set on there. Nice, nice. And we're cooking hot so we can get some nice crispy skin. Make sure we render down all that fat in there. And these leg quarters can really take a beating. So you really don't have to be too careful about it. It's also at this stage, you could throw some wood chunks in there if you want to get some smoky chicken. But for me today, I just want to get that nice, clean charcoal flavor. And we'll let the chicken and the rub and the sauce all speak for itself. So on we go with our lid. Fence above the fire, as always. Bottom is wide open. This is gonna stay wide open this whole time. And we'll check back in in a little bit. Ooh. 45 minutes later, let's see how these chicken leg quarters are looking. Ooh, oh yeah, looking real nice. Oh, feeling so tender. 175 in that one, same on this one, and a little lower on that one. It'll get there. So it's at this stage, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You could sear these off over the coals. That's what I was planning on doing, but just looking at them, I don't know, they look pretty good to me. So I'm just gonna go on and hit them with some barbecue sauce. Oh yes, please. Just kinda wanna mop it on there. I don't wanna mess up the rub too much. Just get a nice little glaze going. Any barbecue sauce will work, folks. This is a spicy one, which I think is gonna work really well on this chicken. And if your sauce is ever too thick, you can always thin it out with some water, some beer, some stock. You know the drill, folks. Oh, that looks so good. All right, we're gonna let this sauce tack up for another 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll be done. And would you just look at it, folks? Look at that beautiful barbecue chicken in under an hour. Can you believe it? So easy, so simple, so tasty. I gotta dive in. So pretty. I'm gonna let these cool for about 10 minutes or so, and then we're gonna dive right on in. All right, I can't wait any longer. I think it's time to see how this chicken came out. Looking lovely, smelling great. I'm gonna go ahead and break these apart. Nothing to it, folks. If you flip these over, you can pretty much see where that joint wants to be cut, you know? Right along this fat line right there, where you want to go about it. But, ooh, nothing wrong with that. Mmm. Oh, that was so good. Mm-hmm. Nice and juicy, nice and tender. Nothing to it. Got a little heat from that sauce. Plenty of flavor from the rub. That skin is actually still pretty crispy, which is very nice. But, I mean, it's just juicy charcoal chicken. Nothing wrong with that, folks. Mmm. Love me some leg cordis, but the thigh... That's the real star of the show. Beautiful color on there, nice and juicy, cooked all the way through. I mean, what's not to love about that? Beautiful chicken thigh, little drum 
on the stick. Sometimes in life, folks, you really just gotta go back to the basics and keep things simple. Mm. Mm hmm That is delicious. Little sweet, little heat, wonderful charcoal flavor, bite through skin. Mm. Mm. You know, we can talk all day about brisket techniques and ribs and sausage recipes, but barbecue chicken, the unsung hero of the barbecue world. So good, so simple. Great way to feed a crowd. Great way to fire up your barbecue pit without breaking the bank. Throw a little hot sauce on here. Make yourself a salad out of it after it's done. So simple, so good. Just beautiful, nice and juicy chicken. Now, normally when I'm doing chicken, I like to go all out. You know, brine it, dry brine it, maybe spritz it with some hot sauce, smoke it, then grill it. But really, all you need is to cook it to the proper temperature. These dark meat cuts, wings, thighs, drums, you really wanna go up into the 180s on them. That's when they're gonna be nice and juicy, nice and tender. Um, and if you're really going for crispy skin, the dry brine is a great way to go about it, but I don't know. You know, this is an hour cook, start to finish, from grocery store till me eating, and that's pretty hard to compete with. Probably my quickest cook on the channel, and probably my shortest video on the channel, but totally worth it. This is what weeknight dinners are made of. And like I mentioned, they're super cheap. So if you cook up a whole bunch of these, maybe throw a whole bunch on the old offset here, it's a great way to meal prep, you know? Make some chicken salad, make some pulled chicken sandwiches later in the week. I'll maybe in the colder months, throw these into a stock pot, all these bones, make yourself a nice chicken soup. You really just can't go wrong with some barbecue leg quarters, folks. Highly recommend it. But without further ado, I think it's time for the official taste test. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it. That is how to make some super basic, simple barbecue chicken on your Weber kettle. I highly recommend giving this a try. It is perfect for a weeknight meal or any barbecue gathering you got coming up. There's really nothing to it, but sometimes simple is better. So, that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button. Let YouTube know by dropping a like on this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see me cook next. Big shout out to Fogo Charcoal. Thank you for sponsoring the Weber kettle series. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Peace.